Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another best card loadout video, but today it's going to be for Androxus. Alright you guys, hopping right into this loadout. Before it starts, I just wanted to let you guys know. Wanted to give a shout out to Brave Ant Eater Gaming. He helped me with this one. He has a super cool deck with his that works really well and I kind of took some uh, some tips off of him of what to do. I don't really play Androxus that much. So having him there to help me was really cool. I'll leave his link in the description as always. Make sure you go subscribe to him. He's gonna be making a ton of new Paladins content coming up pretty soon. All right, so hopping right into it. We're gonna get into Elusive. Increase your movement speed by 50% for three seconds after activating Nether Step. Now, in all my other best card loadouts, I've told you every character has like their bread and butter move, uh, their best one. Uh, to me, when using Androxus, and practicing with him nether steps seem to be the best so that's why elusive is the first card on here and i have it set all the way to five point nether step allows you to get out of situations quickly from other champions it's also used for his ult as well to go in the air and get more coverage of the enemy team so when you use nether step having that 50 percent movement speed right after it for three seconds it can help you dip into maybe a fight of a lot of people and be able to move around very quickly you're harder to hit and you can land your headshots a little bit better i found all right moving on to seething hatred reduce the cooldown of reversal by one second after hitting an enemy with your weapon uh so having reversal is very good uh if you're in a desperate time where you're getting shot at a lot by the enemy team or you have like a flank on you you could instantly turn around, activate reversal, and if you're running the proper card, uh, God Slayer, which I'll get into in a second, that damage is reversed back into the enemy. You'll deal 800 damage. I'm not too sure without God Slayer what the actual damage is. I'm sure it's down at like 400, 500. It'll allow you to reverse that damage into the enemy and uh, have an upper hand going into the fight that's maybe a 1v1 right off the bat. All right, so moving on to Through the Warp. Increase the distance of each nether step dash by 30 percent uh when i first used androxus and i was using nether step the dash didn't feel like the distance was enough he was barely even moving for me i did all three dashes and i barely got anywhere so that's why i threw this one to 30 percent it's right in the middle it's a sweet spot it doesn't use too many of the points that's why we have it at three and it was just enough to to open up and unlock androxus's like full ability to move around he wasn't hindered by his distance anymore and when i used his ult it allowed me to get higher in the air so i had a uh, further coverage of the enemy team below me moving on to sleight of hand we have generate three ammo after activating another step now when i first used androxus as well going back to that he did not have enough ammo at all for me his revolver only has six shot uh, so i felt like i was flying through his ammo like crazy so i had to find a card to stick in the slot to replenish his ammo there are two different cards uh, at the bottom here we have generate one ammo after hitting an enemy champion with defiance and then we have over here on reversal generate one ammo after activating reversal and last but not least on the cards we have quick draw increase your reload speed by 10 percent going along with that last uh that last card when i first hopped in using androxus i felt like his his revolver is everything that he has so being able to reload as quickly as possible and generate ammo as quickly as possible you're never going to stop shooting you're never going to stop getting headshots uh it's not going to be an issue for you with this loadout where when i was running the base loadout that the game gives you I, I was running out of ammo all the time. All right, you guys, so moving over here to Androxus's talents, we have Cursed Revolver, God Slayer, and Defiant Fist. Uh, Cursed Revolver is your revolver, it becomes automatic, dealing 600 damage every 0.5 seconds. Now, uh, from what I've seen other people using uh, Androxus, I rarely see them use this. I gave it a go, I didn't really like it. Uh, he has six bullets in his revolver, so it just kind of felt useless. Uh, it's all up to you though on which one you want to use. I didn't really like this one that much. Moving on to God Slayer, we have Reversal always fires back and does an additional 800 damage. Now in the card loadout, I was talking about Reversal and doing 800 damage. You can probably tell I use this card a lot. Having that Reversal damage, if you can aim very well, which if you're using Androxus, you should be able to aim very well. Being able to reverse 800 damage right back into any player, regardless if they shoot your shield or not, it could start off your fight for you very easily. You won't have to shoot somebody as much if you land that 800 damage right off the bat or if you're you know 
trying to get out of a fight and being able to reverse 800 damage, it might scare off the enemy to turn around and try and go back to their healer, or it may finish them off if they're low and you weren't able to get the last couple shots off on them. Now moving on to the last card, we have Defiant Fist. Successful hits with your revolver increase the damage of your next Defiance by 15% stacking up to a hundred percent now this one at first was a little confusing to me if you land shots with your revolver in succession the damage of defiance will increase 15 percent every time you hit somebody i hope that wasn't too much of a mouthful if you understood that out of all this i recommend using god slayer the most but like i said i do not use androxus enough to really make that call depending on which one you like more you could use but right off the bat if you're getting into androxus and using him i recommend using god slayer all right you guys that's gonna be all for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe all that stuff uh, like i said i will have my friend brave ant eater gaming in the description below link make sure you go subscribe to him he will have some awesome paladins content coming very soon so stay tuned for that like i said i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one